April and Wayne Show app is now available on Google Play for Android. And donate to help the ministry at aprilandwayneshow.com. People are sitting in church Sunday after Sunday, year after year, and still are not saved because they're listening and believing in ministers who are leading their souls to hell. Jesus explained in the scriptures that those ministers are not going to heaven and they're blocking you from going. It's like the blind leading the blind because the people love their pastors and their churches more than Jesus. Just because a pastor is behind the pulpit doesn't mean that he's preaching from the word of God because they will pervert the word of the living God for their own purpose. That's why the Bible says to try the spirits by the spirits, where they be of God, because there are many false prophets who are gone into the world. Don't listen to preachers, I mean false prophets, who are motivators of prosperity, of self-empowerment, of health and wealth, and teachers of life skills because they say that they're giving you the principles to live by to improve your life. Like most popular preachers and TV ministers on TVN, like Joe Osteen, T.D. Jakes, and Rick Warren. Many ministers are following their teachings instead of the teachings of Jesus Christ because they want to have large churches and large amounts of money at the price of your soul. People need to wake up and realize that their teachings are doctrines of demons to contradict the Bible with half lies and half truths so Satan can get your soul. Their teachings come from the rudiments and wisdom of this world, which is foolishness with God, and is based on the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. God says, this is not of me, but of this world. And the Bible says that those type of ministers are of the world. Therefore, they speak of the world, and the world hears them. The world listens to them, the world believes them, and the world will follow them straight down to hell fire. God says, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my word, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. And they will cry aloud and spare not. Lift up that voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and their sins. Ministers are supposed to warn the sinners to save their souls from hell and warn the righteous not to sin so they won't end up in hell. If they don't, God is going to require their blood at their hands. Preachers of the day are afraid to warn their congregation about their sin and talk about hell because they're afraid that the members, the mothers of the church, the deacon board, the board members, and their money might leave. If a minister is not afraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ, he would preach what Jesus preached consistently, not once a year, because God says to teach my word faithfully. They would preach it in season and out of season. They would preach the truth when they want to hear it and when they don't want to hear it until Jesus comes back. God bless everyone in Jesus' name. Today, I just want to read Matthew chapter 7. All right, let's get it on. Matthew chapter 7, 1 to 29. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. 
for every one that asketh receive it and he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be opened or what man is there of you whom if his son ask bread will he give him a stone or if he ask a fish will he give him a serpent if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you do ye even so to them for this is the law and the prophets enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire wherefore by their fruits you shall know them not every one that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then will I profess unto them I never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock and every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be like unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it and it came to pass when Jesus has ended these sayings the people were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes Amen. I hope you like this reading of Matthew chapter 7. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. I hope this broadcast goes out to you, and I hope you get this message. I'm getting ready to go to work. That's why I'm actually in front of the camera. And uh, this is going to be something that will be a quick message. The Lord's calling me to do other things. Um, one of the things I will be doing and working on is a lot of deliverance cases. Lots. I mean, demonic, you know, deliverance cases, people released from all type of demonic spirits. Um, I had an email from a subscriber, several of them, that uh, one of the false prophets I exposed, her name was uh, Rachel of the Lord or something like that, that she got her channel back. She told you guys it was... Um, she shut it down. It doesn't make any sense. She's not going to shut her channel down because she cared about the subscribers and views that she had and still does. Um, false prophet, I exposed to you. You know, many times I've exposed this person. But anyway, the reason why I'm talking to you today is because um, this particular individual. Um, had her channel restored by YouTube. 
Now, again, I'm not the only one that exposed her as a false prophet. Now, I went into my prayer closet with Jesus Christ. Okay? Jesus Christ had explained and also says in the word that in the last days, false prophets will arise. False Christ. To be very careful. That they will arise and perform lying signs and wonder to even deceive the very elect. That with the fast rise of false prophets, you will know that it's the sign of the time that Jesus Christ is coming. I'm going to take you to some scripture really quick before I have to go. Hold on a minute, you guys. Now, yesterday I put out a video warning you about testing the spirits because you don't want to be left behind. And, um you know, about the rise of false prophets, and then I got an email from several subscribers and viewers as well, explaining to me that not only her channel was restored, because she is a renowned false prophet, um, other false prophets' channels were restored as well. It wasn't just hers. So you have to be very careful, because um, If you don't, you're going to be very deceived. Now, th for those of you out there, this is the word. God warns in his word about false prophet demons like this. And I'm just going to be straight up blunt. I'm going to take you to Matthew 24. God is prophesying about the end times. He's saying how Christians will be persecuted. And he's also warning about false Christ. Matthew 24, 4. Jesus answered, Watch out that no man, no one deceives you. For many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but I see to it that you don't, I say to it, I'm sorry, I see to it that you are not, but see to it, excuse me, that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. I told you this yesterday in my video about Matthew 24, about the Lord Jesus Christ actually warning about that. I'm going to take you down even further. Uh, Matthew uh, chapter 9, I'm sorry, Matthew 24, 9 talks about how Christians will be persecuted, put to death, hated by all nations for the namesake of Jesus Christ, because of Jesus Christ, and that that is going to increase that persecution. Um, God said that many will turn away from their faith. They will betray and hate each other. That's what's happening with these false prophets. Um, what's going to happen is, what that means that they will betray and hate each other is that, see, Satan is a house divided. False prophets are always going to try to outwit or compete with one another for your glory, for subscribers, for viewers. Not only that, the Lord told me that when the rapture happens, and these false prophets I expose and others, they're not going to make it in. Um, their subscribers, their cult, will rise up against them and blame them for not making it in the rapture. That's going to happen as well. Um, God says that the, the wickedness will increase. People's love will grow cold. God says that those who stand firm, you know, God's elect, do not, and that, that do not get deceived and stay in the word of God, they will be saved if they persevere. Um, God also prophesizes about the Antichrist. So when you see standing in a holy place, the abomination that causes desolation, spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the leader understand, then let those who are in duty flee to the mountains. That matches up with Daniel 9.27. Um, God is basically saying, don't let anybody also steal your crown. Don't get caught in this beast system. God's saying that there's going to be great distress that man, mankind has never seen. Read Matthew 24, 21. I'm just summarizing this for you. God is saying, do not pray that, uh, pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the Sabbath. Um, the Lord told me that that's a major indicator. Okay, again, basically saying, do not... You know, pray that you do not have to go through what is to come. Your flight does not have to. Your flight does not have to go through the suffering that is to come. Pray that your flight is basically your flight to the rapture. Is what I'm saying. Um. 
God warns about deception again. Lord, uh, I'm sorry, Matthew 24, 23. Lord says at the time, if anyone says to you, look, there's a Messiah, there's an, or, he, or there he is, do not believe it. Okay, God warns about false Christ, false prophets will arise, and that's happening. Not only this false prophet, Rachel loves the Lord, there's other false prophets that they had their channel shut down, but YouTube restore them. That's part of Bible prophecy. Bible prophecy meaning false prophets will arise. That's part of that. 24, Matthew 24, 24, for false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. So God is telling you that these false prophets are going to rise in fast numbers, whether on YouTube, out in the world, you name it. God said, test the spirits, don't let yourself get deceived. Don't let yourself get deceived, always, always seek the counsel of God. God's saying here that he told you ahead of time that he's warning you of these things to happen. Because it is going to happen. God says in Matthew 24, 28, So if anyone tells you there he is out of the wilderness, do not go out. Or here he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible from in the west, so will, become the son of, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. God is basically saying that wherever you see false prophets, okay, you will see their subscribers gather. You will also see this. God saying that the false prophets will devour God's sheep if you let them. It will devour God's sheep that they are like vultures, scavengers, devouring every piece of God's sheep. In other words, causing them to fall off the path. God says these are going to be the days of distress that's going to get worse. Matthew goes on, Matthew 24 goes on to talk about the sign of the, com the son of the coming of man. God says that you don't know the day or the hour. You don't know when Christ is coming, so don't get deceived. Because as in the days of Noah, they were drinking and marrying, and God told Noah to get into the ark, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Um, read Matthew 24, 24. Okay? God is telling me to give this scripture to you people that false prophets are rising fast, and that his elect... A lot of them are getting deceived. Be careful. Don't be one of them. Don't get deceived. You always test the spirits. Now, with that being said, I am going to be doing a lot, of, a lot of deliverance cases. That's the sign of the times, I guess. I'm getting a lot of phone calls and emails. Please stay in the Word. Don't let yourself get deceived by these false prophets that I exposed to you and those that I haven't, I haven't exposed to you yet. Be very careful. Be very careful. All right? God said these things are going to happen. God said when you see false prophets coming on YouTube, because YouTube has become like a cesspool full of these false prophets and their cult. Be careful. Don't get deceived. If, if I were you, I would step away from YouTube and go into the Word of God. That's what I would do. And be very careful. Now, as I told you people, I'm going to be doing lots of deliverance cases, so I'm not going to be on here as much. I told you people before that my ministry was coming to a close. I don't know when as God's decision, but I'm just telling you people to be careful. False prophets and false messiahs will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Okay, God's saying, see, I have told you ahead of time. In other words, he's warning you. Do not be deceived by these false prophets. Be very careful, ladies and gentlemen. Be careful. Twenty two false marks of end times religion. An interpretation of the New Testament of the Holy Bible. One. False messiahs. Two. False prophets. Jesus warned, if anyone says to you, Lo, here is the Messiah. Or, Lo, he is there. Do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders, such as to mislead, if possible, even the elect. Do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be.
3. False marriage. 4. False morality. There women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature, and the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural desire, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. Five, false Jesus. Six, false Holy Spirit. I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes and proclaims another Jesus than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or if you accept a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it readily enough. Seven, false apostles. Eight, false servants. Such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants, also, disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. Nine, false gospel. Ten, false angels. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. Eleven, false peace. 12. False security. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. 13. False appearing. 14. False signs. The son of destruction. The Lord is one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. The coming of the Lord is one is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are perishing, because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. 15. False God. 16. False King. For that day will not come, unless the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction, he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. The king shall do as he wills. He shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak astonishing things against the God of gods. 17. False teachers. 18. False morality. False prophets also arouse among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who bought them bringing upon themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them the way of truth will be blasphemed. And in their greed they will exploit you with false words. 19. False authority. 20. False resurrection. The beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority.
One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. Twenty-one. False miracles. Twenty-two. False worship. Another beast exercises all the authority of the first beast in its presence, and makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast. It performs great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to earth in front of people, it deceives those who dwell on earth, telling them to make an image for the beast that was wounded by the sword and yet lived. 4. Beloved believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard, that it should come, and even now already, is it in the world. Ye are of God little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us, he that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his Spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also.